I never really believed that this would happen in my lifetime. I think that I had been watching the news and had heard some rumblings about some a virus that had popped up in um, China. I didn't really think much of it. I thought, okay, maybe it's, it's just like the flu, like it's just gonna be another round of something, right? Um, it doesn't affect children, so it's not a big deal. We'd see news stories from other countries on how devastated they were. And we wondered when it was going to hit us and how it was going to affect us. Everyone was talking about it at school. No, even on TikTok. I remember when they announced South by Southwest being canceled, I was blown away. Like I was just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. When Star was canceled, this is real. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. I mean, we're looking at right now eight weeks for what the rest of this school year looks like. And eight weeks is, is kind of something we're, we need to deal with. But correctly enough, this may impact the summer. We, we don't know all these answers yet. While spring break started and we weren't in our buildings, that break didn't happen for so many of our Leander ISD team who worked around the clock for nine days. These heroes created a plan for teachers and families to support learning, both academic and emotional, for at least two weeks without our classrooms. The teachers were talking like, there's no way they're gonna cancel school. Like, school never gets canceled. We have a small window of opportunity in which to flatten the spike of infection uh, by taking aggressive steps right now. The team of doctors advising us have determined that it would be unsafe to allow students together in schools for the foreseeable future. I began to receive texts and people said, did you, did I hear right? We were all, I think, stunned, shocked. I think in our heads, we knew it was coming. We launched Remind, the premium version of Remind, which is a tool for classroom communication in four days and integrating it and getting it um, unraveled in, into parents. So I'm incredibly proud on how we empowered teachers, um, kept two-way communication going and we set the tone. Like we were didn't know what to expect. And then the day one, they're like, this is what it's gonna look like, but here's all the resources. So they kind of started it for us and that was amazing until we could find like what we liked. And then they still provided us with things, but we could plug in our own things. So we started more gradual and then we slowly built in. We had a class Zoom first. I think what really um, helped out in that whole situation was our teacher, Miss Johnson, um, um, we knew wanted to conduct, uh, wanted to do Zoom calls um, with the students and with the kids. And it was very clear the first time that happened, that was a, a big hit. I mean, and there were some beautiful moments too, where just learning through a walk in the park and um, being able to, you know, showcase learning in ways that you couldn't do in a traditional classroom. And alongside your parents, I mean, that was pretty cool. So being part of your district education foundation team, this pandemic really struck home for us because traditionally we work and we support teachers and students within the classroom and we weren't in the classrooms right we moved to distance learning so the best advice that we received was finding a local nonprofit partner who already helped out with helping families from a financial standpoint leaf donated ten thousand dollars to hill country community ministries to generate an emergency fund to help those families of Leander ISD. And we're not talking just our student families, but it was our staff, the employees and the teachers. And so over the course of the last couple of months, we have received 82 applications. These families need help. They need to keep their lights on. They need to keep the water running. They need to stay in their homes, help with rent. We've had to help with a little bit of shelter and stuff. Of those 82 applications, 52 checks have been cut to help these families. We only have about $1,700 left of this grant, but because we've started talking about it, because we're talking to the community about it, because of the support and because of the huge need, we just received a little over a couple weeks ago um, an additional $2,000 to help with this program. I wanted to say thank you all so much because because of LEAF, because of the hard work Leander SD is doing, um, we've again been able to help these families. So I'm up at school cleaning out for the last time before summer. So this TikTok's really for those who are my students. So if you're not my students, keep scrolling. And if you are, welcome to my classroom. So my board has stayed the same since the last time we left. Just all the things we learned, 
all of y'all's clips and where you were. I had everything on the board that we did, the date. So it was walking into something that was frozen in time. You make your classroom your second home for a reason because you are there so much and there's so much love in that physical space between your students, your colleagues, the subjects you're teaching. And it just, it felt so frozen. You know, had that moment of looking at all the desks and realizing like, you know, the school year is ending the way that it is. And it may not be the same next year and just sitting there imagining all your kids' faces and just, you know, telling an empty classroom, like, I love you all, class is dismissed. Like there's just a weird feeling. And I miss it a lot. And I can't wait to go back and be a better teacher. Um, I don't think there were any ramifications that I was most concerned about other than the loss of opportunity for students. Of all the sad words of tongue and pen, there's no sadder words than these, what might have been. We just want to tell you um, how proud we are of you and your sacrifice. Miss your smile. I love you and I hope you do so well. You I've been so proud to be in a community and to be in a district that found ways to celebrate kids at the end of the year in some normal ways, um, even though we weren't, it was anything but. Can I tell you that parades have been one of my favorite things? We miss you so much! We did a couple of things to bring us back to campus, and one of them was a kindergarten parade. And that was so much fun. And it was quick. It was a drive through thing. It wasn't anything meant to be huge, you know, but it meant the world, I think, to us parents um, and to the kiddos. I wasn't sure if Mason would be doing anything to celebrate those fifth grade graduates. So I jumped on the bandwagon and organized a graduation parade for Damien, which was really cool. It was awesome. And then a bunch of friends came. It was cool. My favorite memory about closing out the school year was going to my virtual theater banquet. It was fun because we got to like, we laughed a lot and gave out silly and serious awards. And it was just good to see everyone again. Congratulations, seniors. This global pandemic is a catalyst for change. It is going to allow us to transform public education and the way that we live our lives. We must take this opportunity to stop doing things that we know are wrong and to start doing things that we know will prepare our students for their future. A future in a rapidly changing world where flexibility, adaptability and creativity are going to become key skills for them to survive. This is our moment and we must seize it.